Hi, I'm Katie, and I'm reading the Akashic Records and channeling the highest light Reiki energy for June 21st, 2022, the summer solstice for the collective energies. And I'm also bringing in painting, and in this, uh, is this is an energetic painting, so watching it, you can also receive Reiki energy and learning, learn about what's coming through um, with what I observe. So at first, it feels like really bright, um, bright light coming in, and I'm seeing a lot of warm colors, red and magenta and orange and um, it's almost a blinding light. It's stark. It's very powerful and feels a little bit anxious and the senses just slow down and just be with this, bathe in it, just experience. So I'm having some head pounding, maybe some third eye activation. The head thing in the front of the head, we're being hit with so much light and it's time to pay attention. It's like we can no longer not see this. And it's almost like opening up a window or a door and the light is just coming in so strong after being in a really dark room before that. So it's blinding and there's this urge to close it back, you know, but let's let's close it. And when we do that, that's what causes the head pain. So it feels like a symbol for pain because we're shutting it out. And the sense is we can't really do that anymore. There's I'm noticing there's some solar plex plexus act activation. So this urge to control things, it just starts to come back on strong. And I see a white horse moving really fast, galloping. There's this urgency to do, to run, to make something happen. And I see a big pot being stirred. That's like, that's just going to stir the pot. It's not about the action. That's not what is really needed at this time. And simply what is needed is to be and to rest. And I see an image of a person laying down and I see um, and feel a spiral, almost like a slinky or something coming out of the third eye and it's spiraling out when I'm resting. Um, and when I'm out of that active doing state, very masculine state and more in the feminine surrender, it feels like a big sigh of relief to have that permission to let down into that. Um, and then I'm just seeing like, a, I'm referencing kind of the Joe versus Volcano movie that's coming into mind of that large moon on the water. And um, so it's the, the message is sort of stop trying to control your life and just let your life lead the way and it just feels very peaceful like sitting out on that water looking out at the big moon and it's just like um a letting go that's it there's no need to do anything really it's just like being on a boat and floating in the water letting things float um, relinquishing relinquishing control and we just can't close the door on the light anymore we have to adjust to it it's changing our bodies it's changing our minds everything is changing so the more we resist, the more painful the experience will be. And this has been a really eventful time actually since that full moon. And we have been through a lot energetically and emotionally. And it's like, just give yourself room to breathe through this and rest and recalibrate. And I see the horse um, resting, laying down, and now it's, it's sort of becoming a zebra laying down as well. And so I'm interpreting that as honoring your uniqueness, your special individualness at this time. It's really important to be authentically who we are, and that might be different. And it feels like a time uh, of people per giving, having permission to be the way they really are, even if it's different. Um, and I see a person floating in the water now, arms outstretched like the cross, just floating, surrendering, letting go. The more of that we can embrace, just let the drama flow around. It doesn't need to be fueled or fixed, even addressed. It just surrendering to the energy, seeing it as almost like weather and nature element, letting it blow over, letting the waves move and, and just floating. And there's something bigger working all of this out that we can lean on. We don't need to put ourselves in that position, in that role. That's, that's an old way of surviving, but it's just not necessary at this point to fight to survive. And then I'm seeing people sort of fighting Wild West, throwing stuff at each other, but that might be coming up too, like these interpersonal issues, this tension, this rising chaos and tension between people, but it really has nothing to do with what's really there. It's Everything is just a mirror for what's going on inside of us. So each person that has issues with others, it's just for them to look at. But when we don't fully embrace the light and just lay out and surrender to it, we'll want to do the, the whole thing of making up stories, coming up with solutions, doing all these active things, and that will get us out of our hearts and into a more... Um, us against them fight mentality so it's just going to be a repercussion of not being able to be with the light it's just a part of that process and that's okay that's okay too it's all okay and everybody is at different stages and levels and we're just honoring that 
So allowing is, is another big theme here. So thank you so much for letting me share um, my painting and my reading, and I hope you have a beautiful day.